I feel duty bound as a doctor to speak up on behalf of my patients and what, what can affect their livelihoods and potential health in the future is a system that is set up to crumble and to fail them. So in a sense you're simply doing your job? I see this as an extension of my job. I need to speak out when I feel patient care is being threatened on such a large scale. The NHS. The NHS. The English NHS has been abolished. Different groups of NHS insiders in England are gathering right now to discuss what they know to be true. Some NHS doctors are deeply concerned that what appears normal on the surface has in fact undergone a tsunami of structural change. The full extent of the repercussions of the 2012 Health and Social Care Act are only just starting to be felt. Immediately I could see very simply at the beginning of the bill that they were abolishing the legal duty on the government to provide the NHS. And I was shocked and thought, I can't believe they do this. Why isn't this out there in the news? One of the government's major tools is really public ignorance and professional apathy to drive through these ridiculous reforms, which will actually benefit no one but the commercial interests. Their healthcare costs about twice as much as other developed countries, and their health outcomes are markedly inferior. A fifth of the patients in America have no cover at all. And this would be a disaster for the old and poor. The government now is pursuing two strategies. A strategy of downsizing, closing down all the public services that we, the people, own uh, and that belong to us. They're just closing that down. And at the same time, they're transferring what remains to the private corporate sectors. Every hospital in England now must become an independent business entity. It's about the system being driven by the finances and not patient needs. And it comes from the top. Patients, doctors, nurses and the public at large have been systematically lied to by our political masters who are doing the bidding, it would appear, for their corporate friends. Not only do we have parliamentarians who've enacted policies going out and being paid by the private sector who benefit from those policies, but the private sector placing a lot of their people within government. It's corruption with a capital C. Some doctors have tried to tell me that the media are allowing to go unchallenged negative stories about the NHS originating, they say, from the Department of Health and Health Ministers. Why is it that the media is no longer um, representing uh, the, the public's public interest? I just see the mainstream media as having swallowed the government line. It was a wicked, wicked thing to do, being told that your service is bad. When you're looking around, you're seeing everybody working really hard, and the vast majority of people are really happy with the service that they're getting. In many ways, I, I feel quite sickened by the way the mainstream media behave, I'm afraid. I do remember when I was doing all the work on the private finance initiative, actually having the chairman of the trust phone me up at home one evening to ask me what I wanted. So that was the offer of a bribe. I was told by the press officer of a strategic health authority that I should reflect on the fate of the late Dr. David Kelly, who was found dead in a ditch with his wrists slashed as an example of what happens to whistleblowers. We're already seeing quite a lot of, of extra fatalities due to people having to be driven around by ambulance where their local A&E has been shut. We're going to be in the, into the nightmare of the American marketplace where people have to look at the small print of their plans to see what's covered. It's like having B Dracula in charge of the blood bank. Patients will be starting to wonder uh, when you know care is starting to be rationed, when finances are, are, are very tight, you know, is the doctor you know doing what's best for me, or or are they prescribing that treatment or not prescribing that treatment because it's cheaper or it's too expensive? These are absolutely worrying times because the NHS is on the on the verge of extinction. They've played a blinder. They've really um, managed to conceal the hidden agenda extremely well.